Hello, my name is Daniel Moser, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some Photoshop basics. Now, the first thing I want to start off with is uploading an image to Photoshop. This is very easy to do. Once you're in Photoshop, go up here to the top left, click on open, and that'll open your file explorer. This will allow you to browse your computer and find the file that you want to start editing. I'm going to go ahead and pick our friendly little robot here and go ahead and click open down here in the bottom right hand corner. Now, once that's loaded up, I want to draw your attention down here to the very bottom right hand corner of Photoshop. I want to point out our layers panel. Now, the layers panel allows you to see your image as the different elements that make it up. Now, right now, we only have one element, our little robot here. And as he's listed in our layers panel, he is just the background. So if I wanted to go ahead and make him a layer and not the background, I simply just double click on that layer and I can go up here and click on OK by creating him a new layer. Now, some of the features that we have at the bottom here are going to be creating layer masks, creating groups of multiple elements within our layers panel, or even creating a new layer itself. Now, there's a benefit to creating a new layer on top of your original image, and that's because you can edit on top of that image on that new layer. I'm now using my brush tool to paint over our robot here. Now, I'm not marking up the robot at all. Using this little hide feature in the layers panel, I can actually make that visible or invisible. I'm actually editing on top of the image rather than the image itself. This will save you a lot of time and effort, especially if you make a mistake to where you don't have to do the entire process over. You can just rework the layer that you're currently on. Now, I don't want to keep this markup on my robot here. So in the very bottom right hand corner, I do have this delete button and I can go ahead and delete that layer so I can just keep the image that I want. Now that we're done with the layers panel, let's go over here to the far left and look at our toolbar. Now, the toolbar holds all the different elements that you can utilize to edit your image. Now, we're just going to cover some of the basics today. And one of the first ones that I want to cover is the move tool. It's at the very top of the list. With that selected, I can grab whatever layer I have selected in my layers panel and move it around within my work area. Now, this allows me to restructure the image how I see fit, but it's just for moving basic elements within your image. Below that is one of my favorite tools, and this is actually going to be something that can help you save a lot of time if you master it, and that's going to be the quick selection tool. With an image like this where I have a white background or solid colored background image, it allows me to just select out the elements of the image that I want, namely the robot that I have on the screen. With a click of my mouse, I can drag over the image, and you'll notice as I'm dragging, it's highlighting the outline of the robot. Now, I'll have to do a little bit of a better job up here at the top where the colors of the background kind of match the color of the antenna on the robot. But within a matter of seconds, I was able to completely select out the robot within this image. Now, with it selected, we can do a couple fun things with it. Go back down to your layers panel and talk about that layer mask that I showed you earlier. By clicking on that, it completely cuts out the background. This saves you a lot of time and allows you to build up elements within your layers panel as you edit an image. Now, speaking of the toolbar that we have over here on the far left side, I want to talk about a unique feature that you can utilize to streamline your workspace. And that's going to be under this Windows dropdown that you see at the top of the screen. Under that, you're actually going to see an option called Workspace. This will actually change up the look of your Photoshop depending on what skill set or what type of image you're trying to edit. If you're working with 3D elements, you can click on 3D and you'll notice that a lot of the features that I have on my screen have changed. My layers panel is a little bit different. My toolbar is kind of simplified to the tools that I need for a 3D image. And that's going to hold true for all of the different elements that you see in here. Maybe painting, maybe uh, portraits. It allows you to change up your workspace. So I always keep it on the essentials for my default trainings here, but again, you can always play around with it and see what works best for you. Now that I've been working on this image for a little bit, one of the last things that I do want to show you is how to save this file properly. To do that, you need to go up to file here and you need to click save as. This will allow you to save that as a Photoshop file on your desktop. Now, once I click save there, I do have my Photoshop file created for me. But there's another way that you can save this out. Maybe I just want to save this image and I don't want to save the Photoshop file. To do that, I simply go up to file again, but I go to save as a copy. 
This now allows me to go to this dropdown at the very bottom and actually save it as one of my uh, image files that I want to use. Since I just created this image with a uh, transparent background, I'm going to go with PNG because a PNG file is going to allow me to have that transparent background carry over. And I'll go ahead and click save here. And now I have that file saved directly on my computer. Now, those were just some starting basics with Photoshop. Stay tuned for some more features that we'll have around Photoshop. Take care and have a great one. Thank you for spending time with our team at Involve Media. You can find more information on our company and service offerings at involvemedia.com or by emailing us at sales at involvemedia.com.